The paper that I'm holding in my hand is the pretest of my brain. Now, I'm going to have to try to explain this to you in, without going into complications and minute details. So I'm going to read it from a piece of paper. Stress overwhelms the balance of the human brain. When you are overwhelmed with stress, what happens is you get in a freeze response or the brain gets stuck. It's like a brake stuck in a car where it doesn't move. So it gets stuck. You then become what is called fight or flight response because everything is stuck. So you're either fleeing something and trying to get away from it or you're fighting something. And what happens is the brain has the ability under the right circumstances to reset itself. Now, obviously, the best way for the human brain to reset itself is what the Bible calls the renewing of the mind uh, and also by praying in the Holy Spirit. However, there are times when there are other things that might be necessary to assist a person in this particular type of major reset, especially if you've had trauma in your life or you've had a major crisis in your life. Well, let me take you to the back line of the story. My wife had weeks and weeks of shingles that was in her right eye and it didn't damage the eye, but it, the eye got kind of stuck. The eyelid was kind of uh, frozen in a position and she knew that there was a nerve in behind her eye that was being affected. So someone had said that they tried this particular system and she said, will you go with me and will you do what I'm about to do? So we went together. It took four mornings to do it. Now, I will not name the system on this YouTube channel because, number one, we do not promote businesses. We do not get heavily involved in promoting political candidates, nothing of that nature. So we don't talk about the system. In fact, they'll cover up the name of this because we do not promote it. Here's the reason why, because if someone did it because I did it and it didn't work for them, then they're gonna blame me for it not working. And that's not always the case. So that's why we're gonna do this. So basically what they do is a man who is a Christian invented this and he spent millions and millions of dollars working on this because he had a traumatic uh, injury to his brain. And so they put you in a chair they put electrodes on the front of your brain, in the, in the middle, the back, the back of the neck. And over a period of time, what happens is the electrodes read what is happening in the brain. Then they use a series of very, really very strange sounds. Some of them sound like bells, some of them sound like other things. And as it's reading the brain signal and the signal the brain is putting out, then these sounds are produced to help the brain to realign itself. So I'm going to be honest. I'm very skeptical. I'm like, yeah, OK, right. Yeah, I'm sure this is really going to work. So they they did the first test on me. Now, here's the test. They'll, they'll show you a close up of this. And and I always tell the producers to put the name of the company out and everything just so. But this this is the actual paper. So when he showed me this list, I was everything was on the right side of my brain. I was totally operating on the right side of the brain. Now, let me read to you what it says. A right frontal lobe imbalance is correlated with a tendency to experience negative emotions that are extremely focused on a person or a situation outside of yourself. These emotions tend to be frustration, impatience, resentment, mistrust and anger. <laughs> so he, he looked at this bottom and he said, what in the world have you been through? Your subconscious is stuck on a traumatic time period of your life. And my wife, we looked at each other and we just both laughed because we knew a little bit about some things we'd gone through. So he said, now, this is what it looks like now, but we're going to take the next four days and we hope it changes. So they hooked me up, hooked me up, hooked me up for four days. And uh, I sat in a chair in the dark, just leaned back and just basically I just prayed, meditated, listened to these sounds. And what happens is the brain itself starts resetting itself. And I'm, I'm, I'm not probably doing the great job scientifically explaining this. So then here's what happened. All of a sudden, when they begin to show me the, um, the balance, this, this is the picture, okay? This is the picture, all right? This was four days prior. This is four days after. Look what happened. Everything in my brain reset and I start moving all the way from the right to the left. And what they want, they want it in the green here. And I said, whoa, 
uh, that's OK, that's pretty remarkable. And then when the computer tested out and I'm not going to show you this page, this has the title of everything on it. Uh, my stress fitness was 17, which was horrible. After the process, my stress fitness was 86. He said, you're a perfect candidate for this. He said it has worked for you. Just, he said this shows my emotional fitness was 74. It went up to 94. 94 was very high. He said, very good. The personal brain index was 36. And in four days, it went up to 88. Now, let me tell you how I knew um, that something had happened because I felt after four or five days and again, it's, it's like a newborn baby. You have to keep your thoughts positive. You have to change your way of thinking. This is this even goes along with scripture in the renewing of your mind. And I found out that things were not bothering me. Things were not stressing me out. Somebody could let me tell you how I knew I was I was better. We had a mess up in my plane on a Friday and a pilot called me and said, I'm not going to fly in that plane. I won't be able to fly it. Won't give, it, won't give you the reasons. I had to drive 15 and a half hours by myself because my office manager was in a marriage seminar to Texas by myself, stay in the home of a missionary in Louisiana and drive 15 and a half hours. And it didn't bother me. Now, normally my emotions would have gone crazy. I'd have called the pilot and told, so what are you doing? It was very weird. Then another way I could find out is when things that normally would stress me out would happen. I just felt like, whatever, go work on it and fix it. And I asked my wife about two weeks later, I says, can you tell a difference? She said, really, I can. It's like you're calmer, you're more peaceful. And that the reason is that I shifted from that fight or flight into the center and more on the left side. And I'm not going to read all the stuff about the left side. And so I just want to say something to those of you that are watching that many years ago, there was a man that built a great university, but he had a great healing ministry. He would pray for the sick and many people. I meet people to this day that were healed under this man's ministry as children. Some of them are older adults, literally healed of many, many things through the prayer of faith. This man built a place which was like a medical training center for people to be trained in medicine. And some people thought that was the worst thing in the world because they said, why aren't we trusting in God? Well, it's like I told my wife years ago, if I have a migraine, I'll have you pray for me. But if for some reason I'm not healed, I'm going to take something to take care of the migraine. God put things in the earth. He's given Christians creative ideas to help people. Now, I had gone through trauma for years and, 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 uh, and just happened to always forgive and always forgive. And finally, this system, whatever it did, helped me to get over a lot of those things. And it just like whatever, you know, somebody said something bad about you. That's their opinion. Who gives a rip? <laughs> it was so funny because my wife said I can tell the difference. Now, you've got to keep in the right spirit. You've got to stay in the word. You've got to do all these things that the scripture tells us to do. But I want to say I'm grateful that in modern technology that we're making things to help people, whether it's new systems of counseling, new systems of of, of how we do things, medical things, even medical inventions that are helping people to better themselves. I, I have very high blood glucose. And I have struggled with that for 20 years. My, my father had a very serious issue with it. And I always said, I am not going to poke myself in the finger three times a day, check my blood sugar and check it after I eat. I'm just not going to do it. And, and my wife said, well, you're going to have to either get healed or you're going to suffer. Well, guess what they come up with? They come up with a meter on my arm that I check it on my telephone. See, there's nothing wrong with that. It helps people. And I believe the Lord is into the technology that we have, that knowledge has increased to being a blessing to helping people. I will say once again in my disclaimer, this is not uh, promoting anything or anybody, but I had a reset of my brain. And can I tell you something? It actually felt pretty good to have a reset because now the things that used to aggravate me, the people that I would think about and I'd get into this uh, animosity, doesn't even bother me anymore. And uh, I'm, I want to thank the Lord for that. And I also want to thank whoever the man is that invented this company, who is a very fine Christian man uh, for for uh, having that out there. All right. So that's my brain reset. And I know I've got to stay in the word, adjust my lifestyle and do certain things to keep keep that uh, keep those positive thoughts going. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you thought it was interesting, hit that thumbs up button and let me know that it was interesting. 
And uh, we hope to uh, see you all somewhere in some of our meetings in the future, some of the conventions and conferences that we have here in Cleveland, Tennessee. And uh, God bless you and keep watching because we always have something very special at the conclusion. Humanity's final battle is being set in array, merging men with super advanced technology, commonly known as artificial intelligence or AI. This new and at times frightening technology is said to be the greatest advancement of man's imagination since the beginning of humanity. But it comes with warnings from experts and developers. While AI can be used to deter crime, track criminals, and search for information at breathtaking speed, AI could eventually take over 80% of human jobs, replacing them with computers and robots. With AI, nothing about your private life, your finances, job, or family will be hidden. In the future, a male or female humanoid robot can become a walking, talking, living companion. Wealthy men are hoping AI will create the possibility of eternal life. According to experts, there are great dangers ahead. Uncontrolled AI systems could eventually destroy humanity. AI could also become a scammer's dream, using fake pictures, videos, voices, and accounts to blackmail innocent victims or transfer funds. In Perry Stone's explosive new prophecy book, Artificial Intelligence vs. God, he reveals what others who have written about AI have missed including five ways in which AI will be brought to utter uselessness in the future as God, the creator of mankind, will have the final say as to when nature itself will release unrestrained destruction that will silence both man's modern technology and the electronic systems required for AI to function. Perry's new book presents stunning quotes, biblical word studies, and ancient history to document all the book's eye-opening information. He explains how an ancient clash in Eden and a massive tower in the plains of Shinar conceal huge historical parallels, repeating themselves during AI development. Perry explores whether the economic mystery Babylon mentioned in Revelation 18 could be the new AI city being planned in Arabia. Is China cryptically alluded to in Revelation 12 by the symbol of the great red dragon? Will men and women marry companion robots in the future? Could the image of the beast in Revelation 13 be an advanced AI creation built to introduce a new religion and to be worshipped as a god? Perry exposes the goal of transhumanism and will shock readers by revealing positive proof of five ways God will allow mankind's most advanced technologies to fail in the future. Perry's new book, Artificial Intelligence vs. God, is now available through Perry Stone Ministries. The offer number is BK-036, and you can request your copy for a donation of $25 or more. Order one of three ways, by calling toll-free at 1-888-21-BREAD. That's 1-888-212-7323, or online at perrystone.org. You may also send your donation of $25 or more to Perry Stone, P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37320, and request offer number BK-036. This new landmark book is only available through Perry Stone Ministries. Get your copy today so you and your family are prepared for the future of AI technology. We look forward to hearing from you today. If you enjoyed this YouTube content, there's an important website you should know about, perrystone.org. Perrystone.org is an essential resource for the latest books, audiovisual presentations, and digital products from Perry Stone Ministries, resources that cover the same kinds of topics discussed in the program you just watched. Stop in and see all that's available at perrystone.org.